Well, the next time you walk into the Main Street Landing Performing Arts Center in Burlington, look up to the ceiling. You'll see a brand new mural that documents two centuries of black and brown revolutionary history. I sat down with the creators to talk about it. Because these are all the folks that either have given us the blueprint, have done the work in the past, or continuing to do the work. 100 faces. From scholars, artists, activists. 230 years of black and brown liberation. Starting with the Haitian Revolution. One giant 1,100 square foot masterpiece. It was a huge undertaking. It's a vaulted ceiling with a four corner perimeter. It's called the Wall of Respect, Luminaries of Justice and Liberation. It pays tribute to historical, present day and local heroes who are black, indigenous and people of color. This Sistine Chapel-like mural inside Main Street Landing in Burlington was painted by Will Caso Condre and Jennifer Herrera Condre, the co-founders of Juniper Creative. They spent 11 months bringing this painting to life. We were living in here. Literally. Even our GPS you know? said that this was home. Yeah. <laughs> the married couple says they started brainstorming last summer after the murder of George Floyd in Minneapolis police custody. Because it was such trying times, the nation was turned upside down. They say they wanted the mural to tell the stories of black people and people of color, but not the story of oppression, trauma, and violence that we often hear. We got tired of that narrative as being our universal story. Instead, they wanted to highlight the untold stories of black power, innovation, and triumph. Yeah. And making sure we're telling the story that's only going to uplift us and not keep kicking us while we down. Mm -hmm. Once they began researching who to feature in the piece, they say names and faces eventually started coming to them. It's almost as if their their spirits showed up and said, oh, <laughs> you're, painting, you're painting some stories here. So you can't leave yeah. me out of the story. And yeah. we were like, oh, I guess not. The Condres say they were so wrapped up in the process of creating the mural, they didn't realize just how impactful and moving it is until someone walked in, looked at it, and burst into tears. And that's when Jennifer and I would look at each other like, yeah, we're, we're tapped into something here that I don't think we were at that time fully aware of because we were like this on it, you know? The Condres hope the mural will inspire and educate generations to come about the beauty, resilience, and joy of black people. 50, 100 years from now, what is this mural going to say? At a time where who knows what the narrative will be. But this could be that benchmark, just like the Sistine Chapel, to where people would go to get that source of inspiration and pride from a cultural standpoint. Reporting in Burlington. We knew that this was something that was going to be epic. Aaron Brown, Channel 3 News. Beautiful.